Hello, everyone, and welcome to Locked On NBA Free Agency 2023. We are breaking down all of the chaos that has been ensuing today. I'm your host, Kylan Mills, Locked On Warriors host, as well as a host for the Locked On NBA channel, and breaking down all things free agency today. And I'm joined by Locked On Lakers host Andy Kamenetsky to break down the latest signing for LA. Good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, absolutely, Kylan. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's break down the numbers as far as the most recent free agent signing for the Lakers. Forward Torian Prince, previously with the Minnesota Timberwolves, has agreed to a one-year $4.5 million deal with the Lakers. That's been reported by ESPN. What are your initial reactions to him signing with the Lakers? Well, that it's also uh, being reported that it's the biannual exception, um, one-year 4.5, okay. which means that they're keeping open the big trade, uh, the bid, the big uh mid-level exception of 12.4 million, I believe. So Laker fans are on pins and needles figuring out, Kylan, who that's going to go for. But Torian Prince for that biannual, I think, is a nice signing. It's a good value signing. He addresses the outside shooting that the Lakers desperately were missing last season. He was 38% overall from three. He's been 38% or higher the last three seasons of his career. He was 42% or higher from both corners last season, 41% on catch and shoot threes. And that is an opportunity you will get a lot of playing with LeBron. Um, even Austin Reeves is good at finding those guys. D'Angelo Russell, if he's back, he also has some familiarity playing with D'Angelo Russell if D'Lo returns, even a solid 35% above the break. So in, in that sense, just being able to spread the floor is going to be really helpful for the Lakers. And he is not a guy I consider a lockdown defender, but he's solid and he's got some defensive versatility. So that gives them flexibility with the different lineups they can put out there. So again, everybody is really anxious to figure out what they're going to do with that big money exception. But I would say out of the gate, so far, so good for the Lakers. You know, we're kind of talking about just before we started rolling Lakers, you know, any concerns as far as durability or what do you see in terms of durability from Prince? Because with your cornerstones, LeBron and Anthony Davis, you know, being players who've been injury prone the last couple seasons, is this a guy you can rely on night in and night out? I mean, you certainly hope so. I mean, that that's a big deal for the Lakers. Um you know, it's it becomes less important depending on where he is, I guess, slated in the pecking order. But, you know, there has been some injury issues with him. He's missed some games. So it's something to keep an eye on. But depending on how large a role you anticipate for Torian Prince, and I imagine that he'd be maybe as far as scoring goes, a sixth or seventh option, probably. I, he might be, I could see him starting, but it being more about just floor combinations than where he actually is in the packing order. I imagine he'd be about sixth or seventh option, sixth or seventh in minutes played. So a guy like that, it's important that he's healthy, but I wouldn't say he's at the level of the core guys that you would need to be healthy. Now, you just mentioned kind of where he's going to fall in the pecking order. The Lakers coming in, try, you know, they made it to the Western Conference Finals, trying to just get over that last hump to win a championship. Do you predict they make any additional moves, or do you have any predictions in terms of what this lineup could look like come October? Well, I mean, they've been talking incessantly ever since the offseason began, and Rob Palenka has been available in, in various capacities about wanting to maintain continuity. Um, they have been putting out the messaging that, they will match any offer for Austin Reeves, restricted free agent, that they'll match any offer for Rui Hachimura, another free uh, restricted free agent. There is interest in bringing D'Angelo Russell back. Um, he's coming off a pretty poor Western Conference Finals against Denver, but I thought on balance he played pretty well in the first two rounds. And generally speaking, when the Lakers played well, D'Angelo Russell was playing well. I don't think either, either side will have a better option than each other. And I don't anticipate D'Angelo Russell having a really robust market. So I think there's at least a good chance he's going to be back. And that would that would speak to the continuity messaging they're looking to bring back. I mean, the truth be told, this team got to the Western Conference Finals after doing a major roster makeover, having to really hit the ground running, fight uphill, did yep. a lot of it without LeBron. There is some, I think, grounded logic to the idea that if you gave this group an entire training camp, 
to start working together, to start, you know, an entire season to start working on the type of plays that you don't break out until the playoffs begin, like the stuff that's in your bag that's hidden that the Lakers really had no opportunity to implement with this group because they were just scratching and clawing their way to playoff survival and just getting themselves in that position. I can see why they would be optimistic about it. I also don't frankly think they have a better option than continuity uh, realistically, but you know, I think Torian Prince can help uh, you know, along, I wouldn't say the fringes. I think he's a more important player than that, but maybe along sort of the, 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 the edges of the core guys. Um, again, they really needed shooting all last season, but particularly in the playoffs, Prince can help with that. All right. Andy Kamenetsky, host of Locked On Lakers. Appreciate you joining us here as we break down everything going down with the Locked On NBA Free Agency 2023 report. Appreciate you hanging out with us. And I'm sure we'll check back in with you to see what the latest is going on with the Lakers uh, as free agency continues to develop. It'll be like 15 minutes from now, Kylan. But either (laughs) way, thanks. We very well may talk soon. Andy, appreciate the time.